Welcome to High Street Chapel. Each week we'll be looking at some of the different characters who are involved in the Christmas story and who are represented on the Advent wreath. Today we are lighting the second candle. This is often called the Bethlehem candle and it speaks to us of love and faithfulness. It reminds us of the love that God had for us when he sent his own son as a love gift. God chose a young woman called Mary to have his son. She loved God and followed his teaching. She was engaged to a man called Joseph. The Bible says, God sent their angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee named Nazareth. He had a message for a young woman promised to a man named Joseph, who was a descendant of King David. Her name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Peace be with you! The Lord is with you and he has greatly blessed you. Don't be afraid, Mary. God be gracious to you. He will become pregnant and give birth to a son. And you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. The Lord will make him a king as his ancestor, ancestor David was. And he will be the king of the descendants of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary said to the angel, how then can this be? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and God's power will rest upon you. For this reason, the Holy Child will be called the Son of God. Mary believed the angel's message from God and so did Joseph. Things were difficult for them, but Mary and Joseph were faithful to God because they loved him. They trusted in him and together they decided to bring up God's own son, Jesus. First they had to face a long journey to Bethlehem. The Empress Caesar Augustus had demanded that everyone went to their hometown to register themselves. Together, Mary and Joseph travelled from Nazareth into Bethlehem because Bethlehem was the town of their ancestor King David. The Bible says, But you, Bethlehem, though you are small among the clans of Judah, you, out of you will come for me one who will be a ruler over Israel, whose origins are from old, from ancient times. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when we will rise up for David, a righteous branch, a king who will reign wisely and do what is right in the land. This is the name by which he will be called, the Lord our righteous Saviour. Mary and Joseph put their hope in God. They were faithful to him because of their love for him. They did not know what lay ahead of them, but because of their faith, God was able to make happen the things he had promised many years before. He sent his son to our messy world, not to be a powerful king, but to be a king who would save us. The Bible tells us what Mary thought about being the mother of Jesus. It says... All of me wants to praise God and say, Lord, how good and great you are. I thank God because he is the one who saves me. I know that I am not an important person. God knows this and he has been kind to me. Listen, from now on all people will say that God has made me happy. Yes, God has done great things for me. You may not feel important, but God wants you to have his gift of love. Let God do great things for you this for you this Christmas, let Jesus come into your heart. Let us light a candle and love. Dear God, thank you for your love. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that when we have faith in you and receive your love, then you can do great things. Help us to remember this as we celebrate at Christmas time. Amen.